Hello beautiful humans, hey it's Jay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me slash makeup tutorial where I'm going to go from this to this to this. The products that I'm using today were kindly sent over by Yes Style, as seen in my last haul video. They sent me over their single stay makeup box, and I will be using those products and a few others from Yes Styles to show you the two looks that I'm making today. The first one I'm calling a more natural, everyday look, and the other one I'm calling a holiday glam look that you can use for your virtual holiday parties this holiday season. I am actually attending a virtual baptism for my godson in two hours, so this will be the look I will be rocking for that virtual celebration. Anyways, let's get started and I hope you like the video. Welcome to VoiceOver J and my bare face. My skin is still a whole mess, but it's definitely a lot better than before. Thank you 12th grade me for falling into a K-pop rabbit hole that led me to K-beauty and skincare. First, we're gonna start off with the primer. Now, YesStyle did send me a primer to use, but I'll use it later on in a different way. I have very oily skin, so I'm using my tried and true Innisfree No Sebum Blur Primer. It's really good and it makes my skin feel super soft. Once that primer sets, I'm going to take the one that Yesta provided, which is the Peach C Peach Glow Makeup Base. Because I have super oily skin, I tend to stay away from glowy products because I don't want to look too shiny, but when I was trying out this product, one, it has a really great scent, but also has this like pinkish highlighter-esque glow to it which you see at the back of my hand so I decided to use it kind of like a liquid highlighter to add some glow back to my skin I don't like looking really dry and matte so I think putting this on the high points of my face worked really well so I'll probably do this again in the future I also use this to prime my eyes. If you've watched my- well, I don't have other makeup videos up on this channel yet, but if you've watched my cosplay Get Ready With Me, you'll know the next step in my makeup process is to powder my nose. Once again, just helps with my oiliness. I'm usually very loyal to the Etude House Zero Sebum Powder, but this might be my new favorite. This is the Tony Moly Simplus Oil Paper Powder, and this one has a lot finer of a powder than the Etude House one, and it isn't as strongly scented, so recommended to all my oily subscribers out there. That sounds such a weird thing to say. Okay, next is an optional step, but I do color correct because my eye bags are real strong. I've also been really self-conscious of them because I was teased for being a panda as a kid, so you'll notice that I put a lot of products under my eyes. Next is the foundation part, and here is me trying to figure out which foundation to use. I don't know if it's just me, but around this time of year, I still have parts of my summer tan, but I'm too tan for my winter shades, but my summer shades are too orange. Please tell me I'm not the only one who has this problem. I was playing around with two of my holy grail cushions, which is the Roman de Zero Matte in shade 25 and the Misha Perfect Cover in shade 27 to see what worked. None did, so I ended up using this L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick instead, which was a pretty good match. I prefer cushion foundations, but bought this stick on a whim, and I'm glad that I did. Also, I blend out everything with a cushion puff and not a beauty blender. I don't know, there's just something about using a puff that's therapeutic to me. So you'll notice that, yes, the puff is, the puff is dirty, but that's because it's used regularly. For concealer, I'm using the SEMS Perfect Tip Cover Concealers, which are my holy grail, but unfortunately I can't recommend them to everyone. The first one I put underneath my eyes and to spot correct my skin is the contour shade. So shade range is very limited, but if you are my shade or lighter, I highly recommend giving this product a go. I go back in with that same concealer in shade number two to highlight my under eyes while I contour. This is a product I bought recently, which is the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Truffle. You don't have to cream or liquid contour your face to do this makeup look. I just did because I am a circle, but also I'm showing how to do a more 
glam quote unquote look and while I don't contour every day, I guess my version of glam I do contour. Once again, not a makeup guru. After blending that all out, I set my under eyes with this almost empty Too Faced under eye setting powder and then set the rest of my face with that same Tony Moly powder that I used on my nose earlier. Also, the mirror you see me using is one that I got in a recent haul from AliExpress, and I will leave it in the links below. Next is blush, and I have used this blush already. This is the Misha Cotton Blush in the shade Vintage Robe. I thought it said Vintage Rose at first, but no, Vintage Robe. It's the soft pink that leans a little warm, which is perfect for my skin tone. I take this and put it on my cheeks and then also on my eyelids for my usual everyday look. I tend to put whatever on my face, so blush, bronzer, highlighter, and just put them on my eyes to create, or at least I hope create unity on my face. This next product is one that YesStyle sent me that I was surprised about. This is the Peripera Ink V shading in the shade Cacao Brown, which is their contour or bronzer powder. I was a bit nervous about this product at first because K contour products are my skin tone sometimes, as seen with that concealer, but this does show up on my skin. I just have to work it in a lot more than I would usually do with a western bronzer, but still thoroughly impressed. I also dipped into the darker triangle of this shading pan and applied that to the outer corners of my eye and then dipped my other finger into the lighter triangle of this pan and put it to the inner corners of my eyes. I tend to use my fingers a lot for eyeshadow and to blend things out. Once again, not a beauty guru. For highlighter, I went back and added some of that Peach Sea Glow Base and added this old pink powder highlighter that I had from Colourpop because I thought it would match the overall soft pinkness of this look. The next product is the one I was most excited about, which is this eyeshadow palette from Coringo called Shabam Shabam in Shining Night. From this palette, I took the pale pink shade and just kind of windshield wiped that on my eyes, and then took the darker pink shade and placed it between where the bronzer and the rest of the eyeshadow was on my eyes. To top it off, I dipped into the pink glitters. Side note, Korean sparkly eyeshadow are the best, and just placed that as a topper in the middle of my eye. To finish this look off, well this first look off, I curled my lashes and used one of my holy grails, which is the heroin makeup mascara, and curled my lashes. I usually do this in brown, but we're doing a glam version after, so I thought black was appropriate. Almost forgot. One of my favorite products from this kit was this Roman Glassing Lip Tint in Vintage Ocean. I got it and I'm obsessed, little bit me wearing it all the time. And for this everyday look, I placed it in the middle of my lips and just patted my lips together to get that natural tone. And that completes this very soft, ooh, -ooh vibes makeup look. To add onto this look to make it more glam and holiday-esque, we went back into the eyeshadow palette and dipped into the red glitter shade that I absolutely loved when I first swatched it. It's what inspired the holiday look. I took this on an angled brush to take that red and kind of create a wing on the outer corners of my eye and then dragged it into my crease. Then, on a flatter brush, I took the mahogany shade and put that like an eyeliner and blended that into the red parts that I already had on. The color payment from this eyeshadow palette is beautiful, especially for Korean eyeshadow products. For the Agyosal, I went in with the sparkly topper shade that I used in the first look, and ooh, tip, a lot of the topper shades, especially from K-beauty companies, don't work well with a brush, but if you use your finger, it works so much better, and that's what you're seeing me do. In the video, I just took my pinky, dipped it into that sparkly topper shade, and kind of dragged that underneath my eye. And I think I have a new favorite shade for my Agusan now. Then I took that red and dragged a little bit of it onto my lower lash line. A little goes a long way here, and I didn't want to look like I was crying or bleeding. We were going for a Vecchian red smoky eye look. To this day, one of the most iconic looks in K-pop. I don't do a lot of my eyebrows, so I just brushed them out and added some definition to the arches. 
Of course, it isn't a glam look without eyeliner, so I used this one from McQueen, which is their waterproof pen eyeliner in black. I was so nervous about this part because I don't use liquid eyeliner after I was traumatized once and got it in my eye, and I don't use black eyeliner often either because I prefer a brown one. So very nervous, but I didn't mess up too bad. They are not perfect winged liners by any means. I would say they are fairly related, not twins, not sisters, maybe cousins? I only messed up a bit and had to run to the bathroom to get a cotton pad to fix that slight mistake, but otherwise I would say that this was a win in my book considering how I haven't used liquid eyeliner in years. My new goal for 2021 is to hopefully learn how to use liquid eyeliner properly and not be so scared to use it. If you have any tips on how to apply liquid eyeliner, please help your girl out. I'll probably stick to gel for most of the time, but I think it'd be fun to play around with some liquid eyeliners. But I, I was very impressed with what I did here. For finishing touches, we're going back in with that Roman lip tint and applying a full coat over the lips instead of just a little bit in the center. This has quickly become one of my favorite products. It's not too drying on the lips, and it gives your lips this very nice shine, but it isn't sticky like a gloss. I'm probably going to order some more of these in some different colors because I love this one so much. And we're just going to add some accessories to finish off this look. I added these earrings that I actually think I got from YesStyle, which are these drop earrings with the heart and pearl accessories. And I'm actually really happy with how this last holiday look turned out. And that completes this makeup look. Thank you once again to YesStyle for sending me over these products to play with. I have absolutely fallen in love with some of these products and I'm so glad that they are a part of my collection. All of the products I used today will be listed down below in the description box along with my affiliate code if you ever want to use that when shopping on YesStyle. If you have any other suggestions for video content, please let me know. I am down to do literally anything and everything. My channel is a bit chaotic. I just like making videos about what I would like to nerd out about. Anyways, I hope that you loves are taking care of yourselves and doing well. I love you to the moon and back, and I will see you in my next one. Take care always. Jay. Should I do the traditional YouTube thing? I might do the traditional YouTube thing. Bye!